خلیفہ کے لبوں سے جو گلو جوہر بکھرتے ہیں خلیفہ کے لبوں سے جو گلو جوہر بکھرتے ہیں بڑے انمول موتی ہے یہ دولت ہم سنبھالیں گے بڑے انمول موتی ہے یہ دولت ہم سنبھالیں گے Um, is he trying to can go to your your bit now um, for this sermon um, if you can just load it up for us for us and then we can go through that inshallah jazakum alaikum alaikum assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh today i'll be uh, presenting the summary of the friday sermon delivered by hazu today hazrat khalifa tul masih ayatullah ta'ala bin azil as he stated i will continue to narrate about hazrat umar radhiyallahu We find an interesting incident in his life which shows how the Islamic government of his time took care of the needs of people. Once Hazrat Umar was traveling around Medina with his servant whose name was Aslam. About three miles away from Medina, he saw a woman and her children. The children were crying while the woman was pretending to cook something while trying to put them to sleep. Hazrat Umar greeted them and sought permission to come closer. She did not recognize Hazrat Umar Upon upon his inquiry she told him that the night time and cold weather had forced them to stay stay here These children are crying due to hunger Then she complained about the leader of Muslims Hazrat Umar Zalanho asked her that how would Umar even be aware of your situation She replied that he is the take, he is the caretaker of our matters God will decide between us on the day of judgment Hazrat Umar Zalanho quickly returned and gathered necessary things for them in a sack. He asked his servant to help get the sack on his back. His servant offered to carry the sack, but Hazrat but Hazrat Umar insisted insisted to carry it himself. When his servant asked two or three times to let him carry it, Hazrat Umar said, "Thank you, but will you also carry my carry my burden on the day of judgment?" Thus Hazrat Umar Zalanho took that sack to to them. and helped them prepare the food when hazrat umar zalanho was about to dep- depart the lady thanked him saying that you are even better than the amirul mu'minin in this matter hazrat umar replied you should you should speak good when you go there you will inshallah find me there then he departed but continued to watch them from a distance until the children had fallen as- had fallen asleep Hazrat Umar Zalanho thanked Allah and said to his servant, "O oh Aslam, I did not want to leave from here until I see them in a comfortable condition." Similarly, we find another incident that once Hazrat Umar Zalanho heard the cries of a child from a tent. He approached nearby and inquired about it from his mother. He found out that the mother was trying to get the child to leave milk and start eating solid foods. The reason was that the Amirul Mu'minin had not appointed any stipend for children who were still on milk. Hazrat Umar Zalanho used to think that since such persons had no role to play in societal matters, hence no stipends were, was allocated for them, and their entire responsibility was with their mothers. Upon hearing this woman, Hazrat Umar Zalanho hurriedly returned and. brought nece- brought her necessary goods history records that hazrat umar wept a lot during prayers that day so much that it was difficult for the congregation to understand the recitation of quran after the prayer it was announced all people do not hasten to get your children off milk we are appointing stipends for every newborn Hazur Hazur also said that on one occasion Hazrat Umar Zalanho said to Hazrat Hazrat Ali Zalanho even if a baby goat were harmed near the river Euphrates Allah would call Umar to account for it on the day of judgment Hazur also said that the promised Messiah Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam quoted a narration in which it is stated that once Hazrat Umar Zalanho asked an old person 
that what was pre preventing him from planting trees on his land. He replied that I am old and I will not see the benefit of planting trees now. Hazrat Umar replied, now it is incumbent for you to plant trees. Then Hazrat Umar himself helped him in planting trees. The Promised Messiah Islam, has mentioned this incident in context of saying, in, con in context of staying away from any kind of laziness. He states that while you benefit from the efforts of the previous generation, it is your duty to work for the betterment of future generations. Jazakallah. Jazakallah, Zishan, mashallah, very good. So, um, you may have seen the work on the on the design side as well. So there's, there's a, always a process to how we compile the Friday sermon. So Jazakallah Kashif as well, who provides the main content, and Zishan usually who distributes it to one Khadim. Uh, but today is leading by example and by doing it himself. Jazakallah, Zishan, and to Kashif as well.